Welcome to my chambers. The alleged bomber, the person who allegedly exploded a bomb on West 23rd Street here in New York City and in Seaside Park, New Jersey, and set about eight other bombs that didn't go off. No sooner had been arrested in New Jersey, when the calls came out to strip him of his constitutional liberties, send him to Guantanamo Bay, and extract information from him, rather than prosecute him in the traditional manner. It is surprising and upsetting that these calls came from lawmakers who have taken an oath to uphold the Constitution. The same Constitution which guarantees that when the government wants life, liberty, or property from anyone, it cannot do so without following due process. Due process means the right to remain silent, the right to plead not guilty, the right to be prosecuted, the right to a jury trial before a neutral jury and a judge, and all the panoply of constitutional protections that come with that. It is a right guaranteed to all persons, not to all good persons, not to all innocent persons, not to all American persons, but to all persons. If every time a person expressed hatred for America and American values and manifested that hatred in violence, they could lose their constitutional liberties by the action of some government bureaucrat, then none of our constitutional guarantees is safe. The whole purpose of having the guarantee of due process in the Constitution itself is to prevent officials from stripping people whom they hate and fear of their constitutional rights. Because when the constitutional liberties, the due process rights of the worst among us have been stripped, then nobody's liberty is safe. Welcome to my chambers. Fight the good fight.